Hey man, you got the dime bag right here from Damage Plan. We're hanging out, about to blow it up here in Tokyo tonight, big time. And I uh, want to wish Young Guitar a happy 35th anniversary. And uh, they wanted to do something special for the magazine. They're going to blow up some DVDs, so I'm going to be whipping out a couple of licks of some of the stuff people have been asking me about for a couple of years. <laughs> Techniques a lot of people always ask me about is uh, the lead to walk. It's a two handed, what I call the fake echo technique. I'll show you how that jewel works. Basically, what we're doing, we're in A right here, we're in A down here. When you pop off, come from A here, and then you slide up. As you get up to A again, you drop off. This hand comes back, we're doing fake echoes here. It's like. It's right here. techniques and stuff. Uh, some of the other stuff that people always ask me about is how to get those high-pitched harmonic squills. You know what I'm talking about? The, the old trademark dime bag high-pitched squills and stuff. And uh, basically what's going down here is I'm flicking off the G string, dumping the bar. As the bar is dumped, the strings kind of flap it. Just tap a harmonic. Could be the fifth, fourth, third, all the way up to the second, you can grab them at the 12th fret, anywhere you can get natural harmonics. Gotta catch them in midair though, kinda 
I like. That one's gonna cost you right there. One of the trademark hidden licks right there. Get your pull, get all whammied up on it. <laughs> two different ways. You can either go with the Steve Vai technique, whip the bar back and work it out, or you can just go with the straight technique. <laughs> Same thing applies, you know, there's some stuff on the new record that's elite called Pride. Anytime if you're looking at an open string and you got the 5th fret, 7th fret, and 12th fret natural harmonics, say you're covered on the 2nd fret, just move everything up 2 frets. You can grab the harmonics up the strings, and that goes for any note anywhere. that I do is, which is my harmonic squeals. That kind of stuff. Basically, what was going down here, right here, flicking the string. And then grabbing the harmonic and coming up. It's like... It. Get it, get it down here all the way one time, and then we'll we'll flip down here and grab it. Grab it down here. One of my deals, you know, if you're in the key A. And I think this is a G note. It's an A string. You know, make it sing the pitch of whatever key I'm in kind of thing. Like at the end of the cemetery gates where I follow what Phil was singing in the background, you know? And that's pretty much the deal on the harmonics there. Uh, there's millions of different ways, you know? Grab it just some straight up 15th fret action. Millions of different ways. And uh, if I start showing y'all too much more, it's gonna cost y'all a whole lot of cash. Ah! all those licks. Work on them, kids.
Dom bag, my new fucking band, Damage Plan, bad fucking ass CD, and uh, start with track one, Wake Up, just a fucking pounder right out of the chute, kind of sets the tone for the record. This record's a very diverse record, it's not just one flavor, it's a full spectrum of fucking rock. I'm all the way hardcore, all the way down to low key, you know, heartfelt shit, man. Going to Breathing New Life, second track. Pure powder, gotta throw it down. Breathing new life, back in the beat, challenging all the powers that be. Motherfucker. So anyway, we go into Newfound Power. Newfound Power is a place that we had to come from once we hit the third and found out that that was the end of Pantera and we gotta move forward. Uh, it's a place inside our souls that we gotta dig deep. Newfound Power. Some of the greatest drumming I've ever heard my brother do is on that track. Next, you got Pride. Another one of those heartfelt songs. It's probably got one of my favorite solos on it, which I did on your video earlier. You probably checked me out. I was at the gig rocking, blew it up for you. Track number five is Fuck You. I'm sure everybody out there has got somebody they want to throw a fucking swing a bird finger at. Everybody knows what that means, right? Fuck you! <laughs> anyway, we go to Reborn. Another wake up call, you know? Reborn, the rebirth, you know? Anyway, we got Explode, number seven. That's basically what we do every day and every night. Eat cocktails, light them up, fucking blow shit up, explode. Save me, save me for myself, man. I wish I could, you know? Because I'll be the dude that takes myself down in flames, man. We can do the most damage to anything in the fucking world, but we fuck ourselves up the most. So, save us from ourselves, get your bull. Cold blooded, that's just straight up about it. throwing down, slinging. Crawl, one of the most diverse songs on the record. A bunch of different uh, mood changes on this stuff. Uh, some of my favorite vocals by Pat. Uh, blink of an eye, that's just how fast your life can change. You know, blink of an eye, everything's fucking rearranged. Get you full. So going down to Blunt Force Trauma, that's straight up blunt fucking force to the fucking head. Going down to Moment of Truth. Uh, it's probably one of the heaviest tracks on the record. It's the slowest, one of the slowest tracks. You know, but definitely heaviest, man. The old satin vibe going on. My favorite vocals by Pat, for sure. Probably my best lead on the record. And we go into Soul Bleed, which is an acoustic thing. We'll just get a little mellow, kind of go off into a low key place, man. And uh, that's all the songs that are on here that are in the States, but for y'all here in Japan, y'all always got to get that one extra pull. I understand. It's good. Kind of like I'm getting the colon cam right now. Get your pull. You know, this is number 15. We had to throw y'all the extra tune, so we wrote this song called Ashes. And uh, we have Jerry Cantrell guest star on that. And uh, he sings the verses with Pat. Uh, also, man, I did leave out that uh, Reborn. has got Zach Wild playing lead on the end. Fucking baddest motherfucking guitar player on the face of the earth. And uh, he missed his playing and ended up hanging around and uh, ended up singing some backups on Soul Bleed. So pretty much there it is, Newfound Power by my new band. Damage plan. Fucking uh, glad that we've come over here and blow it up for y'all. Thanks a lot for having us. First time around. You know, we're a brand new band. We haven't played nothing but three shows so far. Tonight's gonna be number four. So let's have y'all out here. And happy 35th to Young Guitar Magazine. Y'all been kicking ass, bringing all the killer information, licks and ribs, and great pictures and everything to all the fans of guitar players out there world around and uh, anybody that supports guitar playing like the young guitar player does, just fucking fine with me, man. Way to go. Happy 35th, man. Get your boat. <sighs> Off the cold can. In the lake. There it is right there. Get your boat. up on the whammy pedal, blowing shit up, grabbing octaves, going up for that fucking squeal sound. Probably uh, most famously known on... Yeah. A little becoming from back in the day. Will you get a nut on, Bobby? Hit your pull. Sometimes I like to add a little extra gain. I got my new Zach Wild pedal out here to let that happen. 
So if I'm gonna take some fucking big long pulls, can you hear that shit? And see, I have my sound guy, this dude right here, get you pulled. I don't get it. I have my sound guy right there turn on the echo out front. And then he really blows it out. And then once the whole room is vibrating and the whole rig is going, it could go for as long as two or three minutes if we wanted it to. That's one of our trademark deals. You know, check it out, get your pull. I just got it set, basically all it is, it's another overdrive, another source of overdrive, and I just, I grab it for a sustain and stuff, you know? Motherfucker, sing, baby! Okay. And then, okay. of course, last but not least, it's a classic wah wah. Gotta do it. <laughs> Baby from hell, smoker pedal, amazing settings on it. Sometimes you can get all this shit rolling. This rig right here is a brand new prototype we're doing with Dunlop. And what it's basically is a uh, fucking octave fuzz with the wah kicked in. So you get some serious noise going, check it out. <laughs> Sometimes you might want to make the guitar sing and scream. Sometimes you might just want to make a racket with it. Right now, I think I just want to go drink a double off of it. So I'm about out of here. Y'all need something else? <laughs> I think Wookiees uh, want to say something. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a wrap. It's nip-tucked. Happy 35th. <laughs>